Hi everyone, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another river fishing tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to catch trout close to structure or overhanging vegetation. Before diving into the video I just want to take a run through the gear that we'll be using for the day. I'll be fishing with a Snowbee Prestige GXS 10 foot 2 weight that I'll use with a dry and dropper rig or just a single dry. And Chris is fishing with a Moonshine Epiphany 10 foot 4 inch 2 weight and here we'll do the same. Uh, we'll probably use it for a dry and dropper rig or we can just swap it over to a single woolly bugger if we can't find fish in deeper pools. I'm also wearing the Snowbee Prestige SDX breathable waders and the Snowbee fishing vest with an integrated backpack. Chris is fishing with eight fans breathable waders. Now with that out of the way, let's head downriver and see what we can find. So we fished up through the whole morning, caught four fish, nothing to write home about. Now we got to this perfect little run here. It's three very strong deep runs. We fished the two on the right. Now there's one run on the left hand side. It's very close to the bank and it has some overgrown vegetation. There's an overhanging branch and now we want to go and fish that. This is what I want to share with you today is how to gain confidence and effectively fish up against structure like overhanging branches. So the idea here is that the fish are holding under this piece of structure. What we want to do is drift the fly over or as close to them as possible so they can come out of their hiding spot and eat the fly. Many times the fish won't necessarily come out far so we need to get our fly in there as close as possible. So how we're going to do this is we're not going to make one cast to try and get as close to there as possible especially if you're not confident in doing so. What we're trying to do is make one cast with enough line so that you're about two or three feet short. Let me do that and just show you where we end up. We end up there, that's about two or three feet short. Now what we do is we make another one. Just make sure that we extend the line completely. We short, cast again, we short again. Now we know if we do about two feet extra, now that drifts very close. Maybe one more foot, extend it and cast again. Now we see we're quite short again, a little bit further. That is absolutely perfect. We actually want to drift it close to the branches as well. So let's put in one cast right under there. Perfect drift. So I just wanted to illustrate to you there that you don't necessarily go and make that cast the first time. Even though if you're experienced, you can do that. Sometimes the best is just to make it short and then extend it slightly closer and closer. And that way you actually methodically and systematically go closer to the branch. This will also help that you cover more water effectively. Let's do a couple more casts and creeping closer and closer to the branches and see what we can get. On. Yes! You see where I got him? Right up against that tree. Literally right up against it. It was incredible. Yes! Plan comes together. Brew, I'm super stoked. Let me tell you guys why I'm so happy. So Chris forgot to record or plug the microphone into his camera the previous time we went through this. So luckily, not luckily, it's just by good technique. I caught another fish up against the structure here to luck. show you guys. Luck. It's not luck, it's, it's pure technique. And um, this fish took a rab that was drifted very close to the structure. And I'm just super stoked to show you guys this fish and the result of, of, of fishing structure well. Um, it's something that you, you need to get confident in because there's so many fish that just hold in structure and and under undercuts and undergrowth so yeah there, there's the result so we caught him with this little snowy rod of ours on a dry fly it's absolutely perfect so let's release him so that he can go up and grow a lot, lot bigger and we'll probably see him next season only so there he is let's go I hope that you found this video helpful and I'm sure that if you practice this and get more confident at fishing into overhanging structure, you'll catch a lot more fish. Please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notifications 
and we can let you know as soon as we release any future tutorials, fishing gear reviews or any vlogs. Until next time, cheers.